the first brush mark is the hardest. When I start at night, I can just use the next whole day, next day drawing. If I don't, I get into emotional chaos. Oh my gosh, should I start? Should I not start? It's gonna be a mess. And then I start drawing and then start to feel, oh, it's gonna be okay. And then I'm in a zone and it's like a meditation. And the rest is enjoyment. I started art school date. I did long years of day jobs and I did 10 years in corporate and then I went to art school because I really wanted to do that so going back to art school like later in your life like not later in my life but later than other students like it really makes you focus whenever I teach I mention that it's not the talent there are so many talented people who end up not pursuing because they rely on the talent and they think the talent will get you there. But at the end of the day, it's the work that get you there. I draw everything on paper with ink and then I scan in using this big scanner and then bring it to Photoshop. Everything that has color is in Photoshop. Everything you see in the final piece is in the original drawing. The calling stage is a little bit difficult because you feel like, oh, I can add this, I can add that. And then come back like after a few hours or like after a day and I open it up and like, ooh, why did I do this? People ask me, what do you think is the difference between fine art and illustration? Because the border is kind of blur. In illustration, there's always the client who is hiring you to do the job. If you make a masterpiece, if the client is not happy as an illustration, it's not a success because freelance art is always 50% art and 50% business. In my case, usually clients call me because I don't know what she will come out with, but I think she will come out with something interesting. So every single one is different and every single one I treat as something completely new. DC Comics, I worked with them for seven years. I think I did 70 covers for one series start to finish. I'm working with the writer Michael Cunningham for his new book, which is coming out in November. And it's a book of illustrated short stories based on fairy tales. 